BMW EX1 foam rub grid. I'm just going to go into this problem that you have with upgrading to 1.13. You have to have at least 1.13 uh, in your camera before you go to your 1.25 and the 1.26. But I'll just show you some of the problems. I'll just click on there. And as you can see, it says before upgrading to 1.13, make sure it has 1.11 firm already. Um, then you select the 1.13 firmware, the, um, the main firmware first. Then you have to install the firmware for the lens. And as you can see, uh, there's two lenses. Um, the former and new and you've got to select the file for either one of them and down here you have to use this service navi software that uh, is supplied by sony and you go to maintenance then lens type and you just click start i'll show you now in a minute and these versions will come up I'm just going to start up the service navi i look for a password okay we have our service uh, navi software uh, um, up and running now first thing we have to do is connect the uh the uh, camera the USB port through its service port. Switch your camera on. I showed you on my last um, uh, video of where the service port is on the uh, EX1. So now it's after connecting. So I'll click connect here. Found it. Click OK. And you can hear rebooting. And information will come down here at the bottom end of the screen. If you're asked to set up at this stage um, um, its serial number and model, punch in uh, PMW e EX1, but make sure they're uppercase, and then pun punch in the serial number. And it'll also look for locale. And if we begin with four, is yeah, European version. So you put in CE7, uppercase. Okay. Let's go to maintenance. And you'll see lens information. Click on lens information. And start. And as you can see from here, it's lens firmware version 0022. If we go back here to our PDF document that I made up, um, 0022, so it's the former software I want to use. And as you can see from here, I want the 0542 lens. So I want the former. I'm just going to disconnect from my survey Navi. What I have to do now is upgrade it now to 1.13. And to be able to do a, a firmware upgrade for, uh, to version 1.13, you have to have at least 1.11 installed on your camera already. So I'm just going to click on my folder here. I see my binary package loader here and camera's already connected and as you see the package I'm going to install is 1.13 and the current is 1.11 so it's okay for me now to install 
um, uh, version 1.13 onto this camera. If I didn't have 1.11 in there, I have uh, binary packages from 1.105 up to 1.11. I'm going to start the install process. Click on install. You can see the cogs and uh, you hear the camera rebooting. And uh, it takes a bit of time. It takes about 20 minutes to do the firmware upgrade uh, from 1.11 to uh, uh, 1.13 and then when I've done 1.13 as I've explained I've got to do the 1.13 lens upgrade as well and as we uh, already know from uh, uh, looking at the lens information I have to put the former type uh, uh, upgrade into it. So I'm, I'm not going to sit here recording the full process here because uh, it takes about 20 minutes and when I get near the end I will start recording again. We're near the end of our uh, firmware upgrade now. Um, we're at about 94% and I'm just going to do a few reminders. While doing these upgrades, don't uh, use any other applications if possible. You don't want your laptop to crash for any reason in the middle of a firmware upgrade. Also, you don't want to disconnect your USB cable accidentally by uh, uh, a lead trailing and you trip up over it and pull it out. Uh, you don't want to switch off your camera accidentally or anything like that. If you do, you can do major damage to the main uh, DPR289 PCB. The cost of this PCB is around a thousand pounds to replace. I've had corrupted firmware, sorry I should uh, correct that, not corrupted firmware, where someone has uh, upgraded from 1.05 up to 1.26 without doing all the steps in between and I have been able to go back using my binary packages to bring it back down to 1.05 and then bring it back up using the binary packages but if the camera is dead and it doesn't communicate with your laptop as uh, you'll hear the driver installing as soon as you, uh, you switch on the camera uh, you're, you're going to have to replace that uh, PCB. If it communicates you have a chance using the binary packages you can bring back the uh, uh, the firmware to an earlier version and then start again. With the version up tools however um, it's as it says on the package it's version up only and it will not go back. Uh, if you try to use the version up tool uh, if you have 1.26 under and you try to put 1.20 or 1.11 or 1.13 in there, it will tell you it already has a litter package. It just does not work. Um, now, and as we see now, it has finished its uh, upgrade. And you'll see here on the right hand side, it has installed 1.13 from its original 1.11 here in the middle so the next thing then we have to do is put in our uh, lens and we have to put in the former lens which is this one and it will communicate and as you see now the current uh, firmware upgrade has gone from uh, 1.11 up to 1.13 so this 1.13 was successfully installed so the process is the same again just clicks install and it uh, will install that lens uh, um, firmware onto the camera I hope that's uh, some help because uh, it's one of the major stumbling blocks that uh, PMW EX1s have uh, out there for uh, the consumer that's doing uh, firmware upgrades themselves 
and for the uh, service repair uh, workshops that gets them in and doesn't have all the information. I myself uh, got caught out with this in the early days when I started doing the uh, PMW EX1. Uh, but through uh, a bit of research and talking to um, uh, other people in the repair, uh, camera repair industry, uh, we came up with this uh, between us to fix it. Uh, thanks for watching.